Hey everyone, how you guys doing? I'm Erica and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my personal Pinterest pinning strategy that I use whenever I put out a new blog post. So I just put this post together for you guys just to be able to show you exactly what I do whenever I publish a new post. Now this is a request video. So if you guys already have a strategy in place, you can, if it works for you, you can continue using it, but this is what I do. Okay. So I've created this post and I have one image here at the bottom for Pinterest. Now, sometimes I hide images within my blog post and sometimes I don't. I create images separately that I want to upload to Pinterest because I don't want them to have the same meta tags. Anyway, so what I'm going to do here, I could either use this button to publish to save the pin to Pinterest, or I could use this one up here. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to go ahead and save it to Pinterest. Okay, so I'm going to choose a board and I'm going to choose a relevant board. The first board that I want to save my pin to, I want it to be as relevant as possible. So for this, I'm going to save it to healthy recipes because this is boneless chicken breast and it's for people who are on a strict diet plan or a meal plan. So I'm going to save it to healthy recipes. Okay, now I'm going to choose see it now because... I want to be showing you what I'm going to do after I save the pin. Okay, now I'm going to open Pinterest in a new tab. And I'm going to upload a separate image for this particular blog post. Now the blog post is still open. So let me go ahead and, and upload this image. Okay, so I've, I've uploaded the pin and I've added a new uh, title for the pin. I added new descriptions and I added my hashtags with the previous pin. I don't have any hashtags on them because I like to test things. I use one image with hashtags and the next one with no hashtags. And I put both images to different boards, but I make sure that both boards are relevant to whatever it is that I am pinning. Now I chose weight loss for this pin because this uh, blog post is relevant for people who want to lose weight, you know, by eating healthy and stuff like that. So I'm going to save this pin. And once I do that, I'm going to open it up. Okay, so now I have it opened up. And where's the other one? This one is opened up as well. Now what I want to do is I right away i'm gonna go ahead and save them to group boards i'm gonna save this one to group board and i'm gonna refresh the page i'm gonna go to the second pin and i'm gonna choose a relevant group board to save it to right away i'm gonna save it and refresh the page and i'm gonna go back to the other pin and i'm gonna show you why this is very important once you refresh the page it's gonna uh, give you the ability to be able to uh, save the pin again so i'm going to go ahead and save this one here and you never want to save both pins to the same group board because it's about the same topic and the people are going to know so yeah i'm going to go ahead and okay i'm going to save this one here and i also want to refresh the pages so i'm going to do this one more time and i'm going to show you what happens Okay, so this one, we're going to save it to, let me see what, okay, I'm going to save it in this one here. And the last time for this pin, I'm going to choose, okay, and um, let me see, let me see, nutrition. Okay, so now if I go back to my profile and i refresh the page and go to pins just so you don't have the same images right you know after one another sorry we have a snowstorm here in lebanon so if you hear the noises that's because okay so you see how it looks on my profile you don't have pins looking back to back that's why i do it uh in that order because i don't want all my pins looking like that 
Now the next thing I do is I go ahead and schedule the pins. Now for those of you who don't have Tailwind, uh, you can use Tailwind Tribes. They're free. You can have up to five tribes. So I go ahead and schedule this one and I save it to Tailwind Tribes. Okay, so I can go ahead and choose a board that I did not save to. So this one is fat burning or fitness. I'm going to choose fitness because it's relevant. And I want to save it to uh, tribes that are, you know, relevant to whatever the topic is. And yeah, you just go ahead and save that to uh, the tribes. Now, this is my pinning strategy. And I also go into the tribes and I save other pins as well. So this is how I do it. And after a week of pinning, I've done what I've what I what I have to do for this particular blog post. I don't do anything else. I just leave it and let the tribes do the pinning or sometimes I add them to viral content B from my blog. And but I make sure that after a week, I want to come back in to the very first board that I save the pin to. And let me go to boards that was healthy recipes. I make sure to go back in there and I want to save the very first pin. So that's why you do not want to save the same pins to all of your boards. Now, as you can see on this board, I have this one pin up here. And after a week, I want to come back in here and I want to reschedule this pin with Tailwind. I want to save it to Tribes and I want to go ahead and repin it to group boards so that you know they get a new life on Pinterest so that more people get to see them so this is my pinning strategy and it works so well for me and if you have a pinning strategy that you use and it's working for you you can share that in the comments below for other people and for me also you know we we, we live and we learn so Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this video helped you and stay awesome.